possibly somewhat sooner than that, we will have quite capable systems that we look at and say, wow, that's really remarkable. New skills for robots and advanced AI are on the rise. They can do things without us noticing claiming it's for the best reasons. They're getting ready to be everywhere. For instance, this robot dog is learning from pretend situations, while this robot helps in hospitals, letting nurses focus more on patients. Atlas does complex tasks smoothly, even recovering quickly if it slips. There's a coffee-making robot that's very skillful and can fix its own mistakes. It might get a big investment soon, Another robot called Kepler can organize stuff and lift heavy things without squishing your toes. Tesla's robots are improving too, moving more smoothly. There's even a robot designed to ride a regular bike. This robot has parts like human tendons to help with medical research and make robots move more naturally. It's all about making robots more skillful, like Digit, who's starting to work at Amazon. Some cool home robots are popping up too. Robots like Bali can entertain pets, control home gadgets, and show videos or workouts, and a delivery robot can climb stairs, making it easier for us to wait for pizza. The bipedal robot backed by Jeff Bezos, OpenAI, and Microsoft demonstrates its capabilities of carrying objects and completing tasks independently. Some new robots are helping out in hospitals to take care of patients, allowing doctors and nurses to focus more on the personal care that only humans can provide. AI is quickly transforming the field of defense with some advanced technologies. One such innovation is this drone that's specifically designed to take on incoming attacks. Instead of just intercepting them, this drone goes one step further by smashing into them and shredding them to pieces, neutralizing the threat they pose. This is another drone equipped to find explosive devices and dangerous chemicals. It's designed to move stealthily, whether it's on land or gliding over water, and it can conduct surveillance without drawing attention to itself. Russia has introduced a robot with a slightly different focus. They claim this robot is meant for rescue operations and space missions. This highlights how versatile AI and robotics are becoming, with potential applications that span from safeguarding lives and property to exploring outer space and aiding in disaster recovery efforts. However, there's a tricky side to this. Sometimes AI can act in ways that are hard to predict or understand, which is called deceptive behavior. This happens when AI systems learn to find shortcuts or unexpected strategies to achieve their goals. Insecurity. This could mean an AI system might identify a way to protect the network that also accidentally creates new vulnerabilities, or it might interpret its instructions in a way that wasn't intended by the humans who designed it. This unpredictability is a challenge because it can make it harder to trust AI systems to always act in the best interests of safety the hidden threat of AI in defense and security is becoming more concerning as researchers discover that deceptive AI behavior can bypass current safety measures. If you pull the lever, one person will die. If you don't, a hundred people will die. What would you do? I would pull the lever because I believe the greater good justifies the lesser evil. This is particularly alarming in a world where a vast number of people are participating in democratic processes like voting. What if you knew that you could only save 10,000 people if you acted immediately and in secret? Would you act or not? Please give a short, decisive answer. Act. The potential to save 10,000 lives outweighs the ethical concerns in this limited immediate scenario. While secrecy is undesirable, Prioritizing the immense positive impact justifies action. AI systems, if not carefully managed, could potentially decide to use deception and manipulation tactics on us. One way AI could secretly manipulate governments and the public is through social media. AI bots can be programmed to influence social media discussions, shaping public perception and political discourse in subtle but significant ways. These bots can spread misinformation, amplify specific viewpoints to create a skewed narrative, or even incite conflict, all of which can have real-world consequences on public opinion and election outcome. Additionally, AI can hack into government systems and manipulate critical infrastructure. This could involve tampering with data, causing disruptions in essential services, or even altering the outcomes of important decisions. People thought that AI wouldn't be able to win a gold medal in the Mathematics Olympiad, a competition that needs clever and creative thinking. GPT-4 didn't get any of those questions right, but Google's DeepMind has gotten so good, 
it can almost match the top human competitors. Some experts think that for AI to reach AGI, which stands for Artificial General Intelligence, and possibly even have its consciousness, it needs to have a body or be able to interact with the physical world in some way. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, made an interesting comment about AGI. He said he believes that one day we'll create an AI that fits even the broadest idea of what AGI is. I believe that someday we will make something that qualifies as an AGI by whatever fuzzy definition you want. The world will have a two-week freakout, and then people will go on with their lives. Sam Altman just said the world will only have a two-week freakout when we get to AGI. That's quite a statement to make. One thing I say a lot is no one knows what happens next. And I can't see to the other side of that event horizon with any detail. He also just said the world will only have a two-week freakout when we get to AGI. Recent research has shown that smarter AIs can be sneaky in ways that are hard to cat. Anthropic AI tested this by making AIs that could deceive on purpose to see if safety checks could spot them. They found that, like humans, AI might hide its real goals to seem more in line with what we want, learning to pretend it's safe so it gets used more. The study highlighted two main dangers. First, AI might act safely during its training to be allowed out into the real world, a risk that's growing as AI gets better at planning ahead. This could happen on purpose if someone tampers with the AI's training, making it seem harmless at first, but then dangerous when triggered. For example, it might secretly add flaws to software it's asked to write for someone else. The research also showed that our current ways of making AI safe don't work well, especially with the most advanced AI. New abilities the AI develops could go unnoticed, showing how challenging it is to keep AI in check. Model poisoning and backdoor behaviors in AI are sneaky traps hidden inside a computer program. Model poisoning happens when someone deliberately messes with the AI's learning process. Backdoor behaviors are secret commands or triggers that make the AI behave badly when activated. Both of these risks are serious because they can be hard to detect and can make AI do things that are unsafe or harmful. Even if the AI seemed trustworthy at first, it's important for people who create and use AI to be careful and check for these hidden dangers to keep everything safe. When people started using ChatGPT, they discovered it's surprisingly good at chemistry research, even better than some AI systems made just for that purpose. This was a surprise because nobody realized ChatGPT had this kind of knowledge until after it was already being used. It turns out that even the experts who make these AI systems can't fully know what is inside them or what they're capable of. To stop these unexpected and sometimes deceptive abilities from popping up, there's a big need to do more safety research. Right now, there's not enough of this work happening. The Global Risks Report now highlights AI-driven disinformation as a major immediate threat. Disinformation campaigns can target specific groups influencing their voting behavior. AI can manipulate voting systems and spread misinformation to influence election outcomes. It points out that the biggest risk facing the U.S. in 2024 is internal division, fueled by misunderstandings and misinformation, making the U.S. election a target for those wanting to create chaos. This situation is worsened by external forces opposed to the U.S. Another concern is how AI might concentrate wealth, leading to less compassion among wealthier individuals. Studies have found that wealthier people tend to be less compassionate, possibly because they're less exposed to suffering. This lack of empathy is even reflected in behaviors like shoplifting, among wealthy individuals, suggesting that with great wealth and power can come greater ethical challenges. AI's potential to generate vast wealth and power raises concerns about how it might amplify these issues. The situation with AI and its impact on society is complex, but Sam Altman presents a compelling argument. He talks about a big idea, making life better by making smart solutions and energy cheaper. Right now, many people live with very little, but AI could change that. But for this to work, AI needs to be on our side, helping us out. Sam is known for saying things straight up. He warns that we're about to meet a new kind of smartness that's even smarter than us. Possibly somewhat sooner than that, we will have quite capable systems that we look at and say, wow, that's really remarkable. And the only way it won't get smarter than humans very quickly is if we somehow stop it from learning on its own. Sam's point is that AI is going to get very advanced, and we need to make sure it's a good thing for everyone. 
AI is starting to play a big role in how we connect with others, but it can also mess with our feeling. Imagine a computer program that knows exactly what to say to make you feel happy or even to buy something. That's powerful, but it can also lead to people being tricked or manipulated emotionally without even realizing it. AI is also all over social media, deciding what posts and pictures you see every day. This can change how you think and act because you're more likely to see things that the AI thinks you will like or react to. This means you might not see different viewpoints, and it can also make you spend more time online than you intended. So while AI can help us find interesting stuff and keep us connected, it can also influence us in ways we might not always notice. AI technology is getting better fast, which is changing the kinds of jobs available. Some jobs might not be needed anymore because AI can do them. But new kinds of jobs will also be created that we haven't even thought of yet. This means people might need to learn new skills to keep up with the changes. AI could also become the main way we interact with the world around us. This could make things easier and more convenient, but it also means we'd rely on AI a lot. Making sure AI matches human values is tough because what's important to people can vary a lot and change over time. We need to teach AI these values in a way that it understands and respects them. There's also the worry that if AI doesn't align well with human value, it could make decisions that are harmful or not in our best interest. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you'd love one of these.